Hey, what's up, backslackers? How's it, Ruse? Uh, Kiro here with a new game for playing Strong and Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. This is an excellent game, one of my favorites. And, uh. I played it once before, a while ago, so I remember who the killers are, but I not how to get there, so. See how that goes. Let me play this in English, please. Going to be, uh, going to be kind. The mess of high school towers all over the other build <clears throat> the mess of high school towers over all other buildings near bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop to the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate at the gate of the ultimate school filled with ultimate students was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all be pretty much whatever is popular at the particular moment. Even am among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's been good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But, you know, if you have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything but ordinary Hope Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. <clears throat> oh shit, we're on 2chan. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field such a popular topic, there's threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked into some of those threads, and I saw a talk of ultimate students who are way beyond your average high school student. For example, one upcoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the regional high school champs. Pro teams already have their eye on him. 
This is Japan, so remember, baseball actually means something there. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. And they even mention the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. <sighs> Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students that didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without talent or anything? I thought it was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come up come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter to s they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us, the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I would have been better off just declining their offer. After hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong here. I could feel myself losing my nerve. I just realized I've been reading this opening for like nine minutes. And at the beginning, I started talking about, uh, murders and killers and shit, and like... I can just imagine some random person like, what the fuck is going on here? And yeah, that sums up Duncan Rampa, welcome. But still, I can't just stand here in front of this gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It should be a meeting for all incoming students at the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. I mean, yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. Where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. Meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense no one would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now. There shouldn't be any problem with having a look around, right? Help me kill some time if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted.
It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, and spinning again. The next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And life how I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized, they didn't do this at my old school. The reason I was brought to Hope's Heek Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Despair Prologue. Have to save? Sure. <clears throat> what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. Pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? <coughs> this isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck's going on? Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Firstly, I'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. Aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate. Use WAS to adjust your viewpoint. You can press hold right mouse button to move around. Why don't you try looking at the classroom? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. It looks like some metal plate is bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. Wait, oh what matters here? More importantly, why are there metal plates over my window? It's a desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool. I must have left it there. I'll have to clean that up later. Wait, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide? Some cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten in it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be our entire world. What the hell is this? Is this some kind of joke? There was a way... Ab key, here we go. Hoggers. I can say there's a way on the PlayStation where I could cheat and see everything so I wasn't playing adventure game the game. Better look out. Oh, I guess I have to look at everything. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Buddy, it's not the fucking 80s. We have TVs. Something feels off. I wonder what did I say that like we didn't wheel a TV in when I was growing up in like the 2000s. I wonder what it is. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just 7 when I got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. What might have happened is I got myself wound up. I passed out in the main hall and someone carried me in here? If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside those feet. Then if that's true, just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, there's metal plates covering the windows? It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. Probably head to the main hall. It's already past meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key? Hell yeah, fast travel. Get the fuck out. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. Getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. For now, head to the main hall.
Oh yeah, we're Wadson. I forgot, I have to fucking move around. Main hall. This. That's technically this is the main hall, right? By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh, poggers. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. I have to make fucking character voices for most of these people. I know voice acting isn't going to last long. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at every pony who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I could feel an aura coming from each of them. <clears throat> uh, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naeji. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? What? You too? Hmm... I was getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you're aware this meeting was to start at 9 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? That's my waifu, by the way. If anyone's wondering. Huh? The hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe. It'd be good to at least find out who we are before digging into bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? Still totally lost. I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone in the Hope's Peak Academy on thread online, but... I still don't know what kind of people they are. Time to find out. Why are we talking to those five? Name of the students. Each conversation was important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Talk to Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Ultimate moral, moral compass. So that's Kiro, Kiro Taka. According to what I saw about him in that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors everywhere. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with the community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka, and you said your name was Makoto Neiji, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name... <coughs> I can't yell this late at night without coughing, I apologize. <laughs> to keep your name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! This guy is kind of annoying. Toko Fukugawa. Do not 
you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate Brightening Prodigy, Toko Fukawa. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10, like everyone talking, and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest man poll. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would he call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be the lovey-dovey type with her masterpiece being romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? It's not polite to stare, you know. What stop! The heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought. <laughs> oh, I know what you just thought. You thought that you'd never seen such an ugly woman, that you just thought it was so funny. No, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Don't bother lying to me! It's true, otherwise I know you can't stand looking at anyway. me. Anyway! Uh, can I just take this time to say how much I hate the Sundere, uh, uh, archetype thing? Whatever. I don't care. I'm used to it. I mean, just totally, randomly. Just thought I'd say. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I would be way off about what a successful author would be like. <laughs> Sayaka Maizono. I like how this has turned into me reading the Japanese name and then them saying it in, in a voice line and me getting the pronunciation wrong. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you! Ultimate pop sensation! The way she moved is positively mesmerizing. That pleasant sense I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. I saw her name in that online thread. Frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's an apocryphal famous across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. She is the ultimate pop sensation. She's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. Actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll. Or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. That's not good intuition. He's a sharp one. When the text is blue, I'm still gonna read it in like my neutral voice for Makoto, but he's not saying it out loud, which is really confusing, but I literally can't have two voices for Makoto. <laughs> so... It's just, you know, it'd be how hey, it'd be. Um... Hey, uh, by any chance... Now oh, what? Huh? Yeah, it must be, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, Just did... hold on! Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our night? <coughs> our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth. Uh, um... Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of chit-chat. <coughs> um... Ooh, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka had something she wanted to say. And it's not like we'll never see each other. We'll talk again later. Leon Kuwata. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? <laughs> Ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. He played for the National High Chance as the cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen. <laughs> Yo, you? Seriously? Huh? What, what's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball Give star right now. What, are you expecting a kid with a shaved head, dude? Shaved head? 
No, I was just expecting more of a sporty looking traditional baseball type. I mean, I found an article and a picture of you online. I, I know that's how you look. <laughs> oh man, you found a picture of me playing baseball, man? Seriously? I hate that picture. <laughs> This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head, like, that's part of the national championship reg. Seriously? But now, I refuse to cut my hair. I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Yeah. If they could get a branded, like, licensed Slipknot merchandise, you would be wearing a shirt. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... <laughs> I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Never practiced? He was his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! As soon as I get accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. For the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right, man? You know what I mean. You're gonna be a singer. All I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear someone like that from a baseball all-star. Alright, let's check out this self-portrait. Hifumi Yamada. I am Hifumi Yamada. What if you want to call me by my nickname? The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Ultimate fanfic creator, Hifumi Yamaha. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> <laughs> well, in that world, I'm known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. That event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I painted the event. How stupid can you be? Too bad about them. Selling 10,000 copies is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The world of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure you, if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nayaji, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our base of sturges. Don't think I want to comprehend. Okay, let's talk to these five people. Aoi Asana, it's Hina. Heya! I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Ultimate Swimming Pro. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as the upcoming Olympic cadet. She is without a doubt the Ultimate Swimming Pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. Mm. Um, so what was her name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Uh, Makoto Naegi. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, you got it! I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah! Makoto Naegi. Makoto Nayat. Just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across the palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? I don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it in your hand three times. Never heard that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Well, I have no idea. I'll figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. 
One thing I learned, he's totally easy going and bursting with energy. Oh. It's true. Hello, bad white nice suit. to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Wolfman programmer Chihiro Fujisaki. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. I'm here. Nice to meet you. Huh? <gasps> what? Maybe it's just my imagination. Have we met before? No, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tahira Fujisawa is known for the cutting-edge program she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. <laughs> He's also got a team of little bunny thing going, which is pretty pog. Um... Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. We apologize. Um... Him. Well, you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I thought maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't even understand why her fans are so into her. Yeah, because she's fucking hogger. Yoko to Oh, yeah. I'm um, gonna ask you your name. My name is Kyoko Kirge. Ultimate question mark times three. Pretty tight look, huh? Mm. But you know, name didn't show up anywhere in that Pope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see there were students like me once I didn't have a real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? So, um, what you doing at the school? What? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? No, oh, I meant like getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate, right? So, what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. What did I tell you? Huh? I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned off all lines, so I'm thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Junko Hi! Enishima. I'm Junko Enishima! Charmed, I'm sure! Ultimate Fashionista Junko Enoshima. Anybody would recognize this one. Got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. He's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her in tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Oh. <laughs> are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> of course, those are totally Photoshop. Photoshop? Yeah, edited to hell and back, like with computers and junk. Oh, they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks like porcelain and ceramic. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. The first F-bomb that wasn't just added by me in the game. Ultimate Biker Gang Leader, Mondo Awada. Mondo Awada, which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Nice to meet you too. Yo, 
Hell yeah. Better be careful around him. One wrong word and I can wake up in the bottom of the sea. These four over here are the only ones left. Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. Ultimate martial artist, Sakura Ogami. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she completed in a martial arts tournament in American 1, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches, never lost a single one. The thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primate, famed Missing Link. Any incoming Hope Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about hey. that. Hey. Hey, you. Huh? Yeah? I snapped to attention without realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality. The quantity is right around that extreme of an ordinarily high school student. Hmm. hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm sure that's a shame. Alright. Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. Ultimate affluent prodigy. Ooh, woo. hi, nice to meet you. The most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. There really isn't anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one's special. Yakia Togami, the heir apparent to this family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Prodigy is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from Mike's Hope Academy thread online. Come on! I'm done with introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. I'm a king in training. <laughs> I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate Clairvoyance. Yasuhiro Hagare. Yasuhiro Hagare, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend setting Ultimate Clairvoyance. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. Pretty much beyond me. Still. I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Uh, okay, I give up. What? What happened? I'm serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Oh, uh. Hmm. Guardian Angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running with a skyfish in his mouth. And the Guardian Angel is your Guardian Angel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should get some brewskis and get real deep into Lemuria and its simulation. What? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school? You know? Well, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, and no, that's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Celestia. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Japanese, right? Bro, you cannot just ask somebody that. Huh? Of course, so why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I'd rather you call me Celeste. 
She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors on that thread will write about this. Sorry, I'm plugging my headphones in, they're about to die. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking her life savings and laughing as she did. <laughs> Look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> Smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around here. And with that, all the introductions are done. Even though they're ultimate, they all have their own individual sort of something. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. But, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happens and me and you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Like, just like the beach was got to the main hall, we lost conscious. When we came to, we were somewhere in the school, so what happened to you, right? But that's weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that? Piece of shit! Exactly! That's what we're all freaking out! <coughs> and that's not the only thing. You saw right where all the windows and classes and hallways were, right? You saw where it was, right? That's the voice. That's the voice of Ishimaru, is Ben Shapiro. But instead of normal glass windows, right? The future liberals want normal glass windows, a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Hmm? What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What's that about? What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here, hmm? What the heck? What the heck? What's going on here? Aww. Uh, like, maybe we're caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it? Like... What, like a kidnapping? You think someone grabbed us and hauled us and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, I, I don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure. So I'm just gonna chill for a bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? <laughs> well, if it's like it is, it's not time for me. You know what I mean. I was up like way too late last night to use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then, it began. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. <coughs> <clears throat> the voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, yet completely unconcerned. I couldn't help feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. <coughs> That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? Whoa. 
What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well, if you'll excuse me. Hey! What, what do you think you're going this off like that? Could it be? Yeah, man, this whole thing was just to get us pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> oh, thank God it was just a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was you real. Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why do they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Uh, wait for me. I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> well, that is that then. I will see you there. Anyway... Not that anyone cares, but I'm going to. Everyone took off to the gym. I was frozen when I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only uh, one. Um... This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe. But staying put doesn't mean... I'll work on a voice for Kira Geary. Besides, aren't you just a little curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Yes, she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. But go to the gym, right? <clears throat> Want to? I kind of want to wait for the next cutscene, but I don't know how long that's going to be. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next cutscene. New theory, yeah. Just going to do the cutscene in the hey, end, come on. and then, uh, it'll be a... I don't know how long this is gonna be, like I said. God, I had no idea this whole place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. Really ain't that much different from the time I spent you the hell. This place is even worse. Uh, um... Uh. Why isn't there anyone here, walking through the halls? I didn't see a single person. This is bad. It's like, seriously not good? <sighs> they're, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> shit. Well, hell. Ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey! Where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mundo! Mundo, stop running. Stop running in the hallway right now. Well then. <coughs> I too shall go. Free! <coughs> Don't leave me here alone. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press the tab key to observe room. Observable. Display people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Figured it out, son. <laughs> So the red on the notice means I have to interact before I can leave. So I have to talk to every pony, talk to Junko. This is bad. Totally giving me a bad vibe right now. Oh, well, maybe I don't. Still gonna talk to Kiri Kiri though. Oh, silence. For whatever reason, he's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Alright, we're going through the door. Fuck yeah. I thought the raid meant I had to do it, but I think that might be the third game. Still filled with an easy dread. I did what announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. <clears throat> oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? I told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Was right, but in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling.
Bang! By the way, Dangly Rock has the hardest fucking music in video games. Huh? Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. He turned himself to a bear. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing, it was truly incomprehensible. <laughs> nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all the anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? The teddy bear can talk! Calm down, calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside. Hey! Come on now! I, I told you, I'm not a teddy I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster! Wow, I've moved! Shit. Seriously, man, Tommy, it's probably just a remote controlled toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Marine Trench. My remote system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or comprehend it. <laughs> but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I couldn't bear that. Well, bear that. Really, you are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we must hurry and get started. Come on. Enough already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Okay, so. Hmm. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone, stand to attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning! <coughs> What's your problem? Don't have to say it back. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's take a bit about what your school life here will be. Ah, make no mistake. You few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope. You will all live your communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you'll be here until the day you die. <laughs> this is the school life you've been assigned. What did he say? Until the day we die? Yep. <laughs> yeah, but fear not. We have an abundant budget, so you won't lack for common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's, that's the least of our worries right now. Mm. What the hell? You're saying we have to live here forever? You're fucking with us, right? True. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. I can't have that. I could be 100% sure. Uh-huh. And, just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off. With all those metal plates all over the school. They're to keep us trapped in here? Here! That's exactly what they're there for! No matter how much you yell and scream for help, help will not come! So, with all of that in mind, Feel free to live out your school life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the fuck is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind it. Oh, this is a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, get the shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it. <laughs> you grow up in an age where... 
You're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to feather out, figure out whether that's true or not. When the time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. I think to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? What? What's the matter with all of you? You decided on your own free will to attend Hope Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know... I guess I did forget... There's one way for you to leave the school. Really? Actually... As Headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those who would like to leave. I call it the Graduation Clause! Now then! Now, let me tell you this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt the harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if one person were to murder another, Murder. Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crashing, hacking, drowning, igniting, however, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest... The rest is up to you. Give it all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill somebody if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know? Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I find it so darn exciting. What the hell? What are you talking about? To kill each other is... it's... Kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. It's that's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? What? Stop blathering all this nonsense. Let me go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! You keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over! Listen, from this moment on, the school is your home, your life, your world, got it? Yahoo! And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead. <coughs> go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Uh. Alright, how long are you gonna keep this up? Hmm? Hmm? You know? You, you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because I mean, these are all. This is some kind of trick, and <laughs> all right? So, like. Dude, shit. dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Kevin Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What, you mean like your hair? You son of a bitch. <clears throat> Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of a floorboard as it kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He'd locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What, a smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! 
Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! <coughs> Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know where her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... <laughs> What the? It sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the fuck up. It was a painful ring in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. What? You know, that means the teddy bear's destroyed, right? I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm on a kuma. Well, there's another one? Damn Son you. of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course! Well, yeah, I'm serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get this one little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does that mean there's a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumis have been placed all throughout the school, yeah. Please don't fuss, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking the schools, well, you all saw what happened, right? <laughs> I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Huh? That's not punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Well, then lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? You can see it's fully digitized, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. <laughs> yeah, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. And when you start it up, we'll display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday handbook, so it has many more uses. And it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep ticking. And thanks to Space Age design, it can withstand impact with the 10 tons. Very resistant, Douglas. It contains all our school regulations, so make sure you review them you thoroughly. Guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. And the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishment in place for violators. Okay, well that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life and see. And with that, you was gone, leaving us in a state of shock. <laughs> so, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How do you define that? What the crap? Why well, I don't understand any of this. Do you have to live here forever or kill? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize what we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we have essentially two choices. Choice number one. We stay here, leaving the communal life until the day we die. The other choice? Indeed. If you want to get out of your life, you have to kill somebody. Correct? Yes. But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we have dumped it out of nowhere in a place meant to look like a school, and now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie it is what it is. These ridiculous things we've heard, this has to be fake. Hmm. Right. Well, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering this? That? Nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. 
each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wander. Is somebody going to betray us? And that's how my new school life began. The school, we had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope, it's a school of despair. Prologue, welcome to despair. The end. 15 surviving students, we did it boys. Be continued. Is this the beginning movie or is this the uh, preview of the chapter? That's just the opening movie. the entire prologue we're not even going to look at this and uh next time i don't know how long it'll be but we will do the first half of chapter one and then probably do first half second half because there's a quite obvious uh splitting point between those so hope you enjoyed donk and rampa i know it's listening to me read but as you know characters aren't here anymore it will be easier because there'll be less voices and uh all right well i hope you enjoyed it because uh it's dongan rampa's uh, 10th anniversary sale and i bought all three games so yeah take care